Hi, it's me, Jay. Today I'm going to talk to you about chalkboards, specifically porous boards and non-porous boards, and what that means for you. And then after we're done, I'm going to show you how to season a chalkboard, which is just a good habit to get into. Okay, first, let's talk non-porous boards. The single biggest advantage to working with a non-porous chalkboard is that it's very erasable. So when I'm talking about porous and non-porous, I'm talking about the surface of your board, how hard it is, how absorbent it is, and therefore how erasable it is. Non-porous boards are very hard, and when you use a difficult medium-like marker on it, which is essentially paint, it just sits on the surface of a non-porous board and doesn't seep into the material at all. So even if I make this board and I leave it for months and I come back months later to try to erase it, I'll be able to get this off of this board because none of it has been absorbed into this surface of this board. Um, this is my old slate chalkboard. It's, uh, you know, it's rough, like slate you might find out in the wild. It's old, it's got like a crack that goes down the middle and cracks that are all along the bottom. But I really love this old rustic board. And I'm gonna show you how easily I can erase the board even 24 hours later, but I could go much longer than 24 hours and still be able to erase this board. So all I've got here is a wet cloth. Um, the marker is coming right off. No problem. And in fact, I'm having to rub a little bit harder on this board because it's got that rough surface. Not all non-porous boards are like that. I have a couple of non-porous boards that I make signs on a lot that are made out of porcelain and steel and they're super, super smooth. So that when you wipe them like this, they come out just pristine, dark, dark black and very, very smooth, just like when I bought them at the store. By comparison, let's talk about porous boards. So if the single biggest advantage to working with a non-porous board is its erasability, the single biggest advantage to working with porous boards is their affordability. So these are usually quite a bit less expensive and they're made by painting chalkboard paint on top of a porous surface, usually wood. So I'm gonna show you this one. I don't know if you can see it well, but it looks like it's chalkboard paint on top of like MDF board and then that's on top of plywood and the this one here looks like it's maybe chalkboard on plastic or something chalkboard paint on plastic both cases they're the underlying material here is porous and so it's softer than the non-porous surfaces and it has crevices and and it will absorb many of the mediums that you put on top of it so it's fine with chalk. This one, give me the chalk I made yesterday. And as long as I'm using chalk, chalk doesn't absorb into anything. So I can easily erase this surface. As you can see, that's fine. But I made this board yesterday too. And this one is using chalk marker. And it's again on this porous board. So some of this marker has already begun to seep into the surface of this board. So I'm gonna to try to erase that the same way that I did with this board. And you can see it's not all the way coming out. And even if I press really, really hard, I still have a pretty darn clear ghost image. When you're working with porous boards, you either have to decide that you're not going to reuse your boards or you have to stay away from chalk marker because most chalk marker does do this. And this was only a 24 hour board. When I've had this problem before, I've sometimes been able to use Mr. Clean magic erasers and I can get the board clean that way but sometimes it won't even come clean that way. And when I'm left with a board that I simply cannot get the marker off anymore, I've been known to use chalkboard paint. So I like this Rust-Oleum chalkboard paint, which I got at Home Depot. I think you can get it at any paint store. And it's very easy to use. You read the directions, you put on a couple of coats, roll it on, it smooths out as it dries and it becomes very a very, very nice finish, almost like the board is new. The thing to remember though, is that painting it with chalkboard paint 
doesn't make it into a non-porous board. It is still a porous board. The underlying materials are still porous and therefore you're always going to be wrestling with the permanence of chalk marker on a porous board. Okay, so I think that covers the difference between porous and non-porous boards. You can kind of see where the problem lies here and where this would be much more advantageous. Now I'm going to show you how to season a chalkboard, which is something you should do whenever you have a brand new board, whether it's porous or non-porous. But I think it's most important when you're using a porous board because those are the ones that are, that their surface is just a little more tricky to work with. But I'm going to demonstrate how to season a board on, on a non-porous board. And you only have to do this once when the board is new. So the way you season a, a new board is to take your chalk, turn it on its side, and cover the entire surface of the board with chalk. And the reason that you're doing this is because when a board is brand new, the first time you put chalk on the board, pigment from the chalk can get caught in the surface uh, crevices of the board. And then therefore your image, whatever you've drawn, even when you erase it, is, it leaves a ghost image, kind of like this, only that happens even with chalk. So you season your board because that puts a layer of chalk into all of those crevices. Nice and even and uniform and not in the shape of a picture that you then can't erase. And once you get the whole thing covered with chalk, you just simply erase it with a dry, clean cloth. I admit, I don't have a clean cloth. This one's been used a lot, so you would want to use a cleaner cloth than I am. And if you do, it gets much closer to the original black. That said, when you're working with chalkboards, it's best to just uh, embrace the kind of rustic chalky, chalk dust look of a chalkboard because that, that is unavoidable really when you're working with a chalkboard. So now you know the difference between porous and non-porous boards, and you know how to pre-season your brand new boards. I think you're ready to go. If you have any questions, you can leave me comments or questions down below, or you can come to my website, judyclementwall.com, and contact me there. Uh, I'm also on social media, so you can come over to Facebook or Instagram, and I post a lot of boards in progress and art in progress, so you can check out that, and you can show me your boards. I'd love to see whatever you create. Okay, that's it. Thanks. Bye.